Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we have discussed all the four properties that is closure, commutative, associative and distributive. Now the most important thing. Now you might say that why at all are we learning about these properties? How are they going to help us? Why do we want to do these? So for this, what your teacher would suggest is just calculate this. So she had given you a sum and she had asked you to calculate this just to tell you that why are we learning these properties. So normally what is the approach that you would follow? So let, let me on your behalf do this calculation. So let's say you have to calculate 2 by 5 multiplied by minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 14 minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5. So this is the sum that is given by your teacher. Now normally how would you solve it? You would first multiply these two. Then it also you will multiply these two and then you will like add or subtract the respective terms. So let's try to do this. So this would be minus 6 by 35 minus 1 by 14 minus 9 by 35. Right? Now again here you might take the minus sign common and then you will have 6 by 35 plus 1 by 14 plus 9 by 35. So now how do you add these? So in order to add these, you will have to find out LCM of 35, 14 and 35. So what would be the LCM of these? So first you will have to calculate that. And let's say once you have calculated the LCM and then what do you get? The LCM would be nothing but product of 35 and 14. So that would be the LCM. So the LCM comes out to be something like 490. So now when you actually try to calculate this, you get minus 84 plus 35 plus 126 divided by 490. So this is what you get. So when you calculate it further, you get minus 245 divided by 490 and this comes out to be minus 1 by 2. So this is your answer. So this is how you would have calculated this sum. So now here you had been able to calculate this problem but then you had this trouble of you know calculating the LCM so the calculation was a little tedious. Then let's see how would these properties helped us. How could the properties have helped us and made the calculations easy? So let us consider the same problem. So the problem was 2 by 5 multiplied by minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 14 minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5. So this was our problem. So now what we do? Now as we know the commutative property, the the distributive property and the associative property, we will make use of those properties. Now here what do we see? We see that this is one term which has to be multiplied. This is another term which needs to be multiplied. So what we will do, we will just try to change the order of these terms. So we will just, just try to place them in different places. So let's see how do we do that. All we will do is 2 by 5 multiplied by minus 3 by 7 plus we will take this entire term along with the minus sign. So this would be minus 3 by 7 into 3 by 5. So this is one term. This is another term minus 1 by 14. So this is what we have now. Now why was this possible? Because we knew that a plus b is equal to b plus a. Right? So that's why we could do this, uh, you know, reorder or rearrangement, whatever you call it. Now, if you look at this term and this term, do you have anything in common? Yes, of course, minus 3 by 7 is in common. So what we can do is, it, it is almost like, you remember the distributive property where we said that AB minus AC is equal to A into B minus C or A into B plus C, whatever you call it, whether it is subtraction or addition, but this rule holds true. So let's make use of the same rule. So we take minus 3 by 7. So minus 3 by 7 is the A here. So A into B plus A into C. So we take A common. So we are left with 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 and minus 1 by 14. 
So now you see here you do not have the pain to calculate the LCM. So the so the method of your calculation became easier. Now 3 plus 2 is 5. So this is 5 by 5 minus 1 by 14. So this 5 and 5 will cancel out. So we have minus 3 by 7 minus 1 by 14. Now pretty easy to calculate the LCM of 7 and 14 which is 14. So this would be minus 6 minus 1. That is minus 7 by 14. 7, 2 is a 14, so we get minus 1 by 2. So this is exactly what we got the last time as well. But what was the advantage of making use of these properties? Like we made use of the commutative property, we made use of the distributive properties and how did this help? These made the calculations easier. So that was the benefit of using the properties and that is the reason why we learned these properties so that we can make our calculations easier. So here in this lesson, we will see that wherever we have to make such calculations, we will try to make use of these properties and we will try to calculate in an easier way. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.